Hello everyone, it's Sharon, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me um, to create this look here on my face. And the most exciting part of this look is that I used the Tati Beauty palette. I am so excited. I can't believe it finally got here. Take a look at that. I mean, everyone's seen it already a million times, so it's not like I really have to show you, but I love this thing already. I can tell I'm going to get so much use out of it. Um, I went with a very neutral look today, a very everyday eyewear. So if you want to see how these colors apply, keep on watching. I did play around with some other new makeup to me, like um, some of the Physicians Formula products, the new liquid blush and the cream contour stick or bronzer stick. Um, so if you're interested in seeing how this look came together, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to prime my eyes today with the Milani eyeshadow primer. This stuff's really good. I would compare it to Urban Decay except it is a lot more affordable. Then we're gonna prime the face and I'm going to use my Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. I really like this stuff and I'm starting to use it up. I don't know that I'll purchase it again. Um, for the price, it's pretty good, but I still have like some Benefit Professional um, in my makeup collection. I would say I'm about half done with this as it is, so I just got it in my top drawer that I'm using every day to try to get that used up. Now here's the fun part that I'm excited for, and that is digging into the Tati Beauty palette. So since this is my first time using this palette, I think I'm gonna keep it pretty neutral. Um, I wanted to do a very simple, everyday look to just see how the ones that I know I'll use a lot are gonna perform. I definitely wanna get into these glitters at some other point, but I'm gonna stick down here in Aura, and I'm going to use a lot of the mattes and maybe this shimmer up here in Aura. I might do that. Or the metallic, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm just going to take a fluffy brush, dip into Aura, and do my brow bone and upper crease. Okay, then I'm going to use a fluffy crease brush and go into Soothe into the matte here. And into my upper crease and kind of in that outer V. Okay, now I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm going to go into the metallic here in Aura. That's pretty, but I'm not gonna lie, that's not quite as pigmented as I thought it would be. At least not with a brush. I'll try to see my fingers on the other side. Oh. That's a big difference. Okay. Now I'm taking um, a more defined crease brush. This one's a little flatter. Um, and I'm going to go back into that deep chocolate, chocolate, chocolate brown ritual. And I want to touch up this outer V a little. I'm going back to that fluffy brush that I did the initial um, Aura matte color up here on the lid. And I'm just going to take what's left. I'm not adding any more. And I'm just blending out the outer crease here, making sure everything is really diffused and blended. And then I'm just going to go right back in with some of um, the Aura metallic on my finger just to make sure we didn't blend any of that nice color away. I'm going to do a technique that I don't think I've ever done, um, but I recently saw Zabrina do this look, um, or this technique, I guess you'd say, and since the black in this palette is so fantastic, I'm going to try it, and that's using an angled brush with the black shadow to do my winged liner. So let's attempt this and see how it goes. quite like that. I'm just going to take a little bit of the sequin aura and pop that on the center part here. I just want to see what that does. Holy pigment, Batman. That is, that's insane. We're going to have to do some more blending over here. Okay, now we're going to curl the lashes. And I'm going to use my new favorite, the L'Oreal Primer um, Mascara. I have been loving this since I got it. I have not gone a day 
where I wore mascara, where I didn't use this first. I think it makes such a difference. I've never ever used a primer before. And I just love this stuff. I already have a backup in my drawer for when this one dries up because I'm getting close to it being finished. Now I'm going in with my next favorite mascara and that is from also L'Oreal. It's the Unlimited Mascara. Love this. Just talked about it in one of my recent favorite videos if you saw that. It was Lisa J that got me onto this combo. I've really been enjoying her channel lately. Um, and she was the one that talked about this duo and that it's so great. I mean, look at that. That is insane. I hope you can tell like how much that volumized and lengthened. Okay, now I'm gonna go on with foundation and I'm going to use, um, again, sticking with L'Oreal, the L'Oreal foundation, and I'm gonna mix these two. I originally got 400 and it was way too light for me, so I haven't been wearing it. Um, I think I really need 415, but Walmart didn't have it yesterday, but they did have 420, so I thought, well, I'll just mix the two and maybe that'll be the perfect shade. So, hopefully this goes well. We'll see. I'm going to use my Flower Beauty sponge to apply it. That looks like it might be okay. It does cover nicely. Um, then I'm going to use the concealer I've been loving lately, and I just have a mini version. It's the Benefit Boing Concealer. I've really been liking this. So I'm just going to pop it under my eyes here. And then I do just put a little on my nose, what's just left, because I find that my nose, I have a really hard time keeping product on it. And so just adding the extra layer of concealer does help. I like to use a brush, like a, this is a small kind of foundation, kabuki brush, I guess, or a flat top, I don't know. It's not really flat, but sort of. But I like to use a brush like this to tap in my concealer. And then I'm gonna use my favorite under eye powder for the moment. This is something I loved a long time ago and I decided to revisit it and it's the um, Bare Minerals Well Rested Concealer. And then I'm just using a fluffy brush. This is from e.l.f. And I just kind of tap it under on that concealer. I don't wanna go too far down because I wanna use some other cream products but I do tap that on my nose and right here on my forehead. Then I'm going to test out these Physicians Formula products. The first is the um, Sculpting Bronzer with Jojoba Oil. Um, and I don't even remember what shade this is, but this is the lighter of the two. And then I'm going to use the Dewy Elixir Blush. And this one is in Gorgeous Peach. That is dark. Hope that blends out okay. We'll see how this goes. It blends out really nice, but boy, is that dark. Talk about contour. Ooh, I think I have way too much on my forehead. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and kind of go over it a little with what's left from my foundation. I'm just gonna take a pump. This is very liquidy on the back of my hand and use a small stipple brush. That's pretty. I think I maybe got too much though. Maybe a little for a, like a cream type blush. That's very pretty. I think I'll just go again over this just lightly, just tapping it a little bit just to tone it down just a little. Then while that kind of sits and dries, I'm gonna do my brows. This is my favorite brow pencil right now. It is, I talked about it before, it's the Rimmel Brow This Way. It's got one of those triangular type applicators and I just think this makes it so easy for me to do my brows. And then I'm gonna use my Benefit Gimme Brow to set them. we're going to highlight and I'm going to use my Juvia's Place highlighter. I don't remember what shade this is in, but it's the champagne color. It's the lightest one. 
not going to do too much because this blush is already pretty dewy. I'm just going to tap over my face with some CoverGirl Advanced Radiance um, with just a very large fluffy brush. Not a lot, just a little. And I'm just going to tap up here, cheeks. I just don't want any of that cream product we use to go anywhere. I'm just going to do a very neutral lip. I'm going to use a lip liner from Collab. That's the brand you can get at Sally's. Um, this is in Petal Pusher. And then I'm just going to use a trusty Revlon Gloss. Um, this one is in Super Natural. I really like this lip liner. It feels um, creamy enough to blend. Um, applies really nice and this shade is really good for me. I think I do fill in like all my lips and then go over it with the gloss just to tone it down a little. But then I know once the gloss wears off I have a nice color underneath. But it's not quite as heavy as like a lipstick. Alright so this is the finished look. If you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you also have the Tati Beauty palette um, let me know down below what your favorite shades are, what you love about it, if there's anything you don't love about it. If you did a video too, please link it below. I'd love to go um, share the love and support and make sure you give this video a thumbs up, like I said, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.